My junior high basketball coach was a guy named Oliver Johnson. He's known for winning four state championships in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back years, never had been done in Mississippi. Well, he also uh, was our bus driver for our track team here at North Forest. And we didn't have a big, big team, small team. And uh, we, would, we never had a track here. We actually ran around the football field to train. Uh, it was just a dirt clay road that we used. Well, we went to the um, Singing River uh, Conference track meet at seminary. The odds on favorite was a guy named Jackie Moffat out of Taylorsville, Mississippi. And then there was another young man out of Clara named uh, David Lafitte. We were just glad to be in the race uh, to get points for our team. Well, the gun goes off and we go and we're just running. And of course, Jackie and, and David are off and, and we're behind the pack. In the stands at the time is Coach Johnson. And he's sitting there with his popcorn and his watered down Coca-Cola. And he says, you got him, you got him. And I'm like, Coach, uh-uh, <laughs> not today. I already run one race, I, no, no. I, I, but I had never heard him say that before. Coach Johnson saw something I didn't see, that the front runner, uh, Jackie Moffat, had straightened up. He was no longer running straight. He had straightened up, meaning he'd gotten tired, and David Laf Lafitte had pulled up a hamstring. And then we got around the, the second curve, and he said it again, you got him. And I just kept coming at the sound of hearing Coach Johnson's voice, and he said it again, you got him. And I kept coming and kept coming, and I'm just running like this, just head down and down, and then, and I ran a little harder, and I ran a little harder, and a little harder. Coming out that curve and coming down the straightway, I, I just was getting closer and closer and closer and closer, and about right before we got to that tape, I had beaten him three to four, three to four steps, which is about five feet. The sound of the hearing of, of this voice that I'd heard since I was 13 as a little basketball player, he said I could still do it. It was my coach's voice, it was Coach Oliver Johnson. If he had not uh, been screaming from the stands and seeing something in me that I didn't see in myself, at that meet was Marshall Bell, who was the track team's coach at Southern Miss. And um, though I had a stress fracture my senior year, he still signed me, largely because of what he saw that day. I didn't quit. I uh, ran there, was captain of my track team, met my wife there. I don't know where I'd be without that coach who never gave up on me while I might have wanted to give up on myself. I love Oliver Johnson and his legacy will live with me forever.